okay. This is just a quick run through an amplifier I made. It's based on an old custom solid state amplifier which was fried. It had a fried transformer, fried PCB. So I took all of that out. Um, I put in an amp maker kit uh, from Barry at ampmaker.com. Um, it's based on a 5F1 Champ chassis. Um, so we've got the power indicator, on switch, a volume control. That's all it comes with, basically. But I've put in um, a tone control and a negative feedback loop, which we'll see before guitar input. Um, right, we shall turn it around. That's basically it. Um, the turret board um, is from Amp Maker. You make it up. Oh, there's the clock. It's not. I've, I haven't put it back um, yet for the winter, so it's going to strike one more. But anyway, um, so what we did was we put the we put another capacitor in for the tone control and did a bit more wiring. Um, the negative feedback loop comes up here to the negative feedback. Um, I've used twisted and pl plaited wires here for the AC. Um, it's pretty neat. We've got a, a 6v6 output tube. Um, anyway, shielded cable for some of the pots. Um, but it works pretty well and I'll put up a video of um, the sound it makes um, in the near future. But I've done a lot of work um, on it, first one I made. Barry from Amp Maker is brilliant, and also just searching Uncle Doug on the um, on the internet gives you a lot of help. Um, the speaker, I bought a new speaker, which is I uh, can see that it's a it's a Jensen. It is a I believe it's a P A R. I remember. Um, but yeah, brand new speaker, valves, output jack, fused in air, uh, in there, okay. There you go, I am no expert, I am no expert, so somebody will be on going, what the heck has he done there? But, um, my first attempt, my soldering's not fantastic, but uh, it works. And I will put up a video of it working soon enough.